I put it in a bag, yeah. When you see the rest, they say the like my yeah. Brand new car and noisy, come through and it's boring. You ain't gotta worry, don't care about your girlfriend. See me and get nervous, I think they did it perfect. Work hard and determined, it's safe to say I earned it. Whoa. What's up guys, it's your girl Kayla Mary and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a little different, it's going to be a get ready with me for a performance. I have a performance today on a platform called Frames, it's super dope, can't wait to be a part of that. So we're going to go through the process of how I get ready for a performance. Performance day is usually very hectic but today is kind of pretty chill which I'm excited about because usually we're like all over the place trying to get ready. But it's kind of chill, you know, I had enough time. I think as I'm growing up and maturing, I'm giving myself enough time to do things. So now it's not, you know, super chaotic. Love that for me. We stand. I'm gonna do my own makeup today. I already did my base. I'm not a makeup artist, so this will not be a detailed video on the makeup, but we're gonna just chit chat and talk about some things. So let's get started. I have no idea what look I'm gonna do today. We're just gonna wing it like I always do. So, today we're gonna be talking about my journey because I feel like a lot of you guys don't know the story of how I am in the position that I am today. So I just wanted to kind of go through the timeline of my time in the entertainment industry. Just talk about my journey and the process of being the artist that I am. I got my start in the industry when I was nine years old super super duper young by the way i have my mirror right here so i'm gonna be looking in my mirror i got my first record deal at nine years old i was signed to a record label called Aaron records that was super fun i was a part of a kids gospel group so we used to sing a whole bunch of gospel songs and cover the most popular songs at the time and we recorded a whole album we went on tour you know, just a bunch of cool things. Um, and that's where I got my footing, really. That's where I started to really take entertainment seriously. And I started to really just train and focus in on my gift. From there, I was attending a performing arts school. It wasn't a school per se, like with academics and, you know, science and math, but it was like a performing arts program. They had winter and summer camps every single year so you know how kids are in summer break or they're in winter break and things like that my summer and winter breaks were used to practice all the time from 9 a.m to 5 p.m literally and singing acting and dancing so that's what i did since i was nine years old and it wasn't like someone forced me to do it like i just genuinely wanted to be an entertainer and do entertainment and do those things like that was fun for me it, it felt fun so I like begged my mom to get me in the program and to do that so from there I was a part of a girl group called glamour which a lot of you probably know me from glamour we were a girl group for about six years we started in 2012 our manager at the time and she was also the founder of the entertainment school and our creative director you know they put us together and it was such an amazing time we did a lot of cool things while we were in the group together we were on the x factor in 2013 and we were like the youngest contestants at the time to do the x factor and that was super duper duper fun we met kelly Rowland, of course Demi lovato simon cowell made it to the top 40 contested so that was pretty like dope and exciting and we also performed at the apollo which is such a monumental theater i'm sure you guys know what the apollo theater is we performed at the apollo this is kind of where our career was starting to take off at this point and then we just started you know doing stuff on youtube we did a lot of covers which i'm sure you guys know our covers and we just really started to grow a following and a fan base, especially in the Atlanta area. From there, we got signed to Candy Burris and she was in charge of our group and getting us a lot of opportunities and a lot of exposure. Love Candy. We were on Star on Fox. We had recurring roles on Star, which was just such an amazing experience. We did The Real, which is an Emmy award winning TV show, talk show. So many cool, amazing things that we did as a group super grateful for that experience but that's kind of where you know i really got my 
feel for music and I started to fall in love with the music, fall in love with the process, learn how to you know, songwrite. So after the group ended in 2018 is when I really started to hone in on my songwriting. I've written a couple of things for the superstar group Pink Heart. They have a stupid, incredible fan base. And I've written some songs for them. One song in particular got on rotation on Radio Disney, which is super cool. And it was just super fun to be a part of that. That was like my first stepping stone into songwriting and realizing that that's something that I really like to do. I also wrote a song along with Brandon J um, that went on NBC's Songland, which is a songwriting show that got me my first big songwriting credit with Esther Dean and Ryan Tedder. Oh, such an amazing time. I still am pinching myself about that experience. I actually like really love songwriting and for those of you that don't know, I'm a solo artist now, an independent artist, and all of my songs I write myself, which is kind of like, it's surreal guys. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Sometimes when I'm listening back to songs and I'm like, I wrote that? Like that came out of my head. It's crazy, but songwriting has definitely been a very important part of my journey. I always say it's best to know how to do multiple things yourself because the more you know how to do yourself the less you have to depend on other people and I'm big on that like I want to learn as much as possible that's why I sing I act I dance I'm a songwriter I want to direct producing I want to be a filmmaker like I want to so many things that I want to have my hands in and do because the more you know the more you know now I'm an independent artist a solo artist and this journey has been so amazing so far the music that I put out has had millions of streams across all platforms which I'm so grateful for and that's all because of you guys people love the content that I've put out I've had so many amazing opportunities and I just can't wait to see where I go from here I'm never gonna quit I'm never gonna give up I know my time is coming I know it's only a matter of time before I reach the level of success that I want. I've already done so much as an entertainer in general and just being in the entertainment industry, I've accomplished so much. So I'm just super grateful for what I've done so far. Can't wait to see what I do in the future. My advice to anyone wanting to be in the entertainment industry is literally to just do it. When you think about it, everybody that's achieved success in the entertainment industry, they all started out at the same place, not knowing what to do. So when you use the excuse of, I don't really know what to do, I don't know how, it's not really an excuse because we live in a time where you literally can find anything on the internet. So you just gotta put the work in, do your research, be willing to invest in yourself and believe in yourself. Cause if you don't believe in yourself, then nobody else will. Okay guys, so this is the final look. What do we think? What do we think? It's very simple. I don't like to do too much. I am not that girl. I like to keep it real simple, real cute. So this is the makeup look. I'm gonna go ahead, do my hair, put on the full look, and then show you guys when I'm done. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you like the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Definitely have more YouTube videos coming out, more content, so be on the lookout. And if you want to see the full performance that I did on Frames, click this link right over here and check out the performance. Check out the platform. It's such a beautiful platform. I'm so glad I was able to be a part of it. I'm so glad you guys went along with me for the day and got ready with me. I hope you guys liked the video. And until next time, see you later. Love y'all. <laughs> Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my world. Are you ready to be entertained?
Whether you're in your car At the house On the job I need y'all to rock with me